Did you ever find yourself always reading the newest and most hyped books, while certain books find themselves languishing on your TBR for years and years, never to be read? Well, the latest trend is picking those books up. I'm making it my mission to get those forgotten books off your shelves and into your hands. Maybe it's that mystery novel you bought years ago, or that classic you always wanted to explore. It's never too late to dive back in. Imagine the joy of finally cracking open that spine, the anticipation of turning each page and the satisfaction of conquering a literary adventure you've been meaning to read for years. Revitalize your reading life by dusting off those cobwebs and cooking up a storm in your mind with the books you should have read four years ago. Eat up honey! Wrap Top is back for this year, it's time to go old school. <laughs> That's right, Wrap Top is back for its fourth year running and this year we are doing Wrap Top Retro. <laughs> the idea of Wrap Top Retro is I have wrapped up the 50 oldest books on my TBR in terms of how long I've owned them for and we're gonna be unwrapping once a week like we always do. Every December it gets me excited for Christmas because I'm unwrapping gifts but it's things I already own. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And we're going to be reading the book. I really wanted to do this because I really want to kind of refresh my TBR. I want to get the books that have been on my TBR for a long, long time read or off my TBR. I'm really going to allow myself to DNF a book <laughs> in this if I want, but I'll probably, if it's early on in the vlog, I will probably pick another book. I want my TBR to feel fresh. I want all the books that are on my TBR to be ones that I'm really excited for. And so what I wanted to do with this series was to reignite my excitement for some books that I've owned for four or five years and haven't read. But also to just get them off my TBR and leave my TBR feeling much more the books that I am excited to read in this moment. So that's the idea. Shall we look at the books that are wrapped up? The 50 books I have owned for the longest amount of time. Let's run it now. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The Dinner Guest by B.P. Walter. The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling. Shine by Jessica Young. Pages & Co. Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales by Anna James. Not That Bad, edited by Roxanne Gay. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. The Jeweled Moth by Catherine Woodfine. Biased by Jennifer Eberhardt. What Mama Left Me by Renee Watson. Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell. Essex Girls by Sarah Perry. The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. Haven't You Heard by Marie Leconte. Hashtag No Escape by Gretchen McNeil. Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. Forgotten Women the Scientist by Zing Sing. Forgotten Women the Artist by Zing Sing. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. The Tree of Yoga by BKS Iyengar. The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. No Surrender by Constance Maud. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies, edited by Scarlett Curtis. The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. Star Daughter by Shweta Thakkar. The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Nine Elms by Robert Brisender. Lovely War by Julie Berry. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean. The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Split Tooth by Tanya Tagak, and The Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, and The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. So those are the books. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> because like if I've owned a book for four or five years and I haven't read it, that like tells you something. Some of these books are older than my channel. We've been here for a while. So I am feeling a little bit nervous and a little bit scared and a bit scared we're not gonna have many standouts. But Are you comfortable? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah, I You should be. So we've wrapped up, we always do 10 episodes. So it will run weekly in December and then once a month for the first half of the year. In December, I'm actually gonna be uploading four times a week. So I'm gonna be uploading as usual on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, but I'm also gonna be uploading every Wednesday and that will be wrapped up. So wrapped up will be coming out every Wednesday. Oh my God, guys, I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> 
But Wrapped Up Retro just had such a good ring to it. I had to do it. I didn't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to do this little video to announce to you what the theme of Wrapped Up was this year. I do this every year um, as a little announcement, but I'm, I'm excited. I think this is a fun theme and I think it's a fun way to get some books off of my TBR that should really be off my TBR. So yeah, make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss a single episode of Wrapped Up and I'll see you next Wednesday to see what our first book is gonna be. But um, yeah, let me know which of the books you want me to unwrap the most, which of these books are on the list are you most excited to see? And I'll see you very soon in another video. We won't be wrapped up next time I see you. There'll be another video before then, but I'll see you soon in Wrapped Up as well. <laughs> Bye.